Hey guys, today's video is cranes, food, crochet, quilting, and some I will chit chat for me. You guys get to know me a little bit better today in today's video. I admit my life is boring compared to some people. Who knows? Maybe some of you today need a boring slice of life video. As always, Thank you for stopping in and sharing your time with me today. I appreciate it. I hope you decide to let me know what you think of the video and I hope you decide to stick around. And don't worry, there will be appearances from the animals. This is a thing all fall. From what we can find out, these guys hang out all winter too. That's the bigger flock over there. The smaller flock. Uh, right there. <laughs> oh, I love it out here. Might have to see if I can convince myself to get up early one of these mornings so that I can get down to the cornfield that they're hanging out at. And uh, I'll have to go without the dogs so that they don't get spooked, but I'll try not to get down there to see if we can't get some pictures. Are we in frame? Yeah, we're in frame. Okay. <sighs> it has not been a great past few days. Wednesday night, I made the mistake of turning all the lights out at a bad time and tripped over the ladder that I'm using for painting. <sighs> Wrenched my ankle, bruised quite a few things, bonked my head a little bit. Bonked my head actually hard enough that... Uh, I have a little bit, I, the, the top of my head actually hurt a little bit for a couple of days, so I had been sitting around um, taking it easy, making sure that my head wasn't going to give me, you know, any, any issues there. Not the hardest I've ever hit my head, the hardest I ever hit my head was actually back in my wreck back in 2011. Um, so, but I've been taking it easy because of that. A part of me is extremely anxious and worried because my husband is seeing his father for the first time in more than a decade. First world problems, I guess? I, I don't know. But it's very much one of those, I'm anxious about how that's going to go. Because you never know when uh, someone might... might uh, decide that they are going to air all of their grievances with you despite the fact you're supposed to be there to have a week to catch up and I guess airing grievances is catching up but it's just not A roost in the cornfield that's very very close to us and I guess because of being Saturday they went and drove through to make sure they didn't stay there because they need to do work in the field that's all I can figure but like I said maybe one of these mornings I'll get up really early and sneak down there and get some pictures if the camera wasn't a brick I'd be able to get some really nice long-range pictures and I wouldn't have to try to sneak up on them <laughs> uh, we're still dealing with that 
when you live as rural, rural, rurally, ugh, as we do, um, getting things fixed is a bit more of a chore. <sighs> Might actually see if I can't find a reused version of the camera that we have because the lenses I think are still good. So it's the camera itself that's that's having issues. Although we might get a second one because it was the process of changing from the short from the um, zoom lens to the wide angle lens is why it ended up with some hair and other issues in there. A moment. Sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. And if there are a few things worse than I hate hearing on camera, that's somebody blows my nose. So, I'm really certain most of you probably hate that too. Now, as you can see, I got big granny squares done. Um, I filmed that off camera. I did that off camera just because I just was not feeling up to filming. And well, anybody who deals with anxiety and depression knows how it can go sometimes. Like, legitimately deals with them. They are not... <clears throat> they're not great things to deal with. Eat, don't knock your coffee over, Evelyn. All of that makes me so happy out there. That cacophony I will never get sick of. So we're just gonna listen to that for a while, okay? <laughs> and a crow. They will settle down here probably in about an hour as they find new places to land and rest. Some of these guys fly all the way to Siberia. That's over in Russia. <laughs> not, uh, not the little towns that are named Siberia. I mean, they might show up there too at some point. Sandville cranes go wherever the heck they want. I thought I had untangled that last night. Apparently I didn't. Apparently I had a cat that decided that it felt really sleepy to sleep then. That I can guess what cat it was. Anyway, untangle. Thank you. I actually have to re had to read this do this part from last night because it uh, ended up being less narrow than the other granny square, than the other square that I need to attach to. <laughs> so, boy. And my wind is picking up. Do 
Kathy Sherman frame. Yeah, I am. Okay. Let me get this yarn tangle used up here. Goodness. <laughs> we'll get that used up. For now, we're going to go ahead and do some more filming of this. We'll finish filming it. But uh, on the main video, it will be sped up because this is a long enough clip as it is. So, we'll finish this row and then we'll switch to the sped up. The reason I have a Duck Dynasty cup is because it is the biggest coffee, coffee cup we have ever found. We take our coffee seriously in this household, okay? So, one of the things that I'm doing while my husband is gone is I'm uh, giving myself permission to eat very basic meals, very simple things. Um, when you eat the more basic meals, you know, you're giving yourself more time to do other things that you want to do versus, say, freaking out of the fact that your husband is currently flying. So, just use my coffee for a bit. This is best to clean. Cats, please don't destroy anything today. I don't have the energy to deal with that. I know, baby, baby. The cats are being big. It's okay, baby. It's okay, my baby. Yeah. Maggie. Maggie is a very, very, very sweet dog, in case you guys have not been able to tell it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave these guys wet. Tin foil. We're going to throw them in the oven for about an hour and a half. And I will have three meal components made. Now, I like doing this to potatoes because it's not just the classic baked potato that you can do. You can, once they're baked, you can slice them up and then throw them in a frying pan and slice them as you know, <laughs> um, low, low, low effort potato cakes. You could slice them into 
home fries and fry them that way. Ooh, a baked potato that has been lightly coated in oil and then thrown into an air fryer to make home fries with. Now that, that that's a good idea. <laughs> But the main concept for the reduced diet, like I said, is just to give yourself as little time as necessary to make food that you're going to eat. So, whew. Ah. Oh, that's the stuff. Right there. Don't forget to put your tinfoil. As you can see from that clip, I do have a decent number of vegetables, and I will be going through all of them. And maybe I'll take you guys, no, I'm definitely going to take you guys along for that. Even though I'm not really getting to talk to you guys directly, I'm still getting to talk to you guys. So that helps. An hour three or two because it takes a couple minutes for the oven to like warm up. I'm still figuring out how to work with the non selfie side of my phone to take these shots. So they're not as good as when I've got it on selfie side. So I'm on screen. Um, so the reduced diet also hinges on having only one protein um, that you work with. That way you're not accidentally overwhelming yourself with choices. And you're steaming or baking your vegetables. So it, it literally takes all of the guesswork out of the meals for me right now. Uh, and it, not having to spend time trying to figure out what I want to eat, that helps when I'm being, when the anxiety is really, really bad. <sighs> Yeah, I, I do not have a great feeling about my husband's trip because of how long it's been since he's seen his dad. But at the same time, um, there's a lot of a lot of good's gonna come out of the trip. Like I said, it's been over a decade since he's seen his dad. Yay, first world problems. But my potatoes are going. I have boiled chicken that I made last night. I don't think I have any sour cream. I have sour cream. I have shredded cheese. I have peppers. I have shredded chicken. I've got salt. I've got green onions. Yeah. I know what I'm making for dinner tonight. This morning, it's leftover sausage. So I usually don't eat a very big breakfast, which might be part of the problem. This is why I keep track of things. <laughs> Thank you.
I am eating right now. Thank you. Those are scissors that my mom got me not, um, long before we moved here to the homestead. Okay. So now, give it another 16 rows. Connect that panel to there. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Smack the camera, EJ. Good job. Do the. Do this again. Oop. Do this again. On this side. And just so I don't forget. <laughs> oh, that's not what I want. Why are there so many little veins in this? What the heck? What the? Oh. Okay, that's the wrong little basket. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That one broke. It's a good thing I got two of those then. 
I think I'm going to use this one. An Instagram friend sent me this a long time ago and I have been using them as frequently as I can. And we're just gonna mark that right there. Okay. All right, Maggie. You ready to go outside? You ready to go get the mail? Maggie, do you want to go outside? Why are you being so unenthused? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go? You want to go outside? Can we go get the mail? Can we go get the mail? Yay! Yes. Should we go get the mail? Yes? I don't believe you. Maggie. Maggie! Speak. Ah, no, I'm gonna pop up on your lap, Mom. <laughs> oh, those are perfect. One, two, three. <laughs> Let those cool off. Rub. Put them there. Put them here. Get in there. Grab. Wah. And yes, I made my oven mitts.
little bit of a longer video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing a glimpse of my life. Uh, I will be more on track with filming things for the next vlog. Uh, I'm trying to keep these underneath of being too long. Like 30 minutes seems to be the sweet spot for a lot of channels. Sometimes 45 minutes, but the formats that they use work for them. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can film videos for YouTube, so. Uh, I will be doing a um, condensed video with all of the poncho crocheting. That'll be a separate video. I'll do a separate video for the quilt. The quilt is a much longer project. Stitching the pieces together is the easy part. The next part is putting batting, which is the fibrous inside, and putting a cloth underneath that, and then actually stitching designs into the squares. Stitching everything together, um, the, stitching the top together most of the time is the easy part. LT. Come here. LT. Come here. Come here. Mm. Mm. Ah, what screws up the nose? <laughs> Again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Ah, I gotta go before I have a sneezing fit. <laughs>